Tonight, a jolting mystery in Coral Gables. There's a tremor, a rattle, or something that's happened repeatedly in the last month. The question remains, what is it? CBS 4 Cynthia Diaz joins us live from the Coral Gables neighborhood. Cynthia. That's what the folks in this neighborhood want to know. They say they felt a tremor more than once. It's enough to rattle a cup of coffee like that, but not spill it. They want to know, what is this? And they're having a hard time finding out the answer. Phantom of Coral Gables. Monday afternoon, Matt Meehan is home for a late lunch. These windows started rattling like this, and I'm looking around, and I have a little cat and went running in the other direction. Boo Zamek, working at her Coral Gables home, felt the same thing earlier in the day. Very low, um, very subtle vibration. My first thought was earthquake. Strange. Curious. We're not on a fault line, so what in the world was it? Meehan said the chandelier actually started swaying back and forth as well. Well, we called Coral Gables police. They said this isn't the first time something like this has happened in this neighborhood. Kelly Denham with the Coral Gables Police Department said it's happened three times in the past three weeks. They've sent officers out, but she said, quote, we can't figure out what it is. She said it's concerning enough to call the police. The area in question is this. 8th to Coral Way and then Granada to Red Road. We decided to dig deep and check out this deep dig near Publix on Lejeune and Biltmore Way. Only taking water out. You're just taking water out. You wouldn't have hit anything that would cause kind of a tremor or a boom? No. Electrical transformer. Transformer? Yeah. We called FPL. Bill Orlov, the spokesperson, said, we did not have anything happen. It's not an electrical issue. Then there's this, reports of a sonic boom felt from Florida north, but the dates don't add up with the Coral Gables mystery. It wasn't alarming, it was just strange. Well, it, this is an old 1926 house. I mean, it's never good when something shakes. And we did reach out to some geologists, but we did not hear back tonight. One thing in this neighborhood is for sure, no one's quite for sure what this is all about. Live in Coral Gables, I'm Cynthia Demas, CBS 4 News. Thank you, Cynthia.